when maximum curves are equal, and you see heat and heater cannot have equivalent yielding effect. DC is twice the AC. AC is half of DC. How can you make shine? How can you make them have equal heating effect? Increasing current of AC. Increase. Double or not, we don't know. But we will increase. That's the point. You should increase the current of AC. AC. If you increase the current of AC, yes. be careful, <laughs> be careful. Come on, until to some extent you are correct. I'm not, don't go so fast. <laughs> okay, we should increase the current of AC absolutely. We should increase current of AC absolutely. But how much should we increase? Needs a little mathematics. The maximum current of AC is must made greater than C the direct current of DC circuit. Absolutely, we should increase the AC current. Uh, AC current then AC circuit can have equivalent heating event. Yeah, their powers can be equal. That helps you increase the maximum value of AC sum. But how much I will learn at that? Teacher, can't you decrease the current of DC? The same thing. <laughs> if you decrease this, so that's still a um, and the maximum value current of the AC will be greater than DC. And you can do that as well. Yeah, maximum value of the AC must be greater than maximum value of the DC. But how much greater? Now I will get an equation. According to this change, we made the power equal to right now power of this DC circuit and power of that AC circuit must be equal. equal. We make them equal in heating effect. So if they are equal, let's write their equations and make them equal, yeah. Equation for AC, you know, I am squared times, I DC squared times R. And for this one, I am squared R divided by two. Remember AC circuit, I am squared R divided by two was the equation for AC, okay? This is DC, this is AC. This is the equation for a DC circuit for calculating power, remember? I DC squared times R. This is the equation for direct current, power. This is the equation for calculating AC power, maximum current squared R divided by two. I increase I am so that I make their powers equal. Let's make them equal. Let's equalize them, okay? Power of DC and power of AC now equal. So what is the equation for power of DC? I e squared times R. What is the equation for power of AC? I M squared I divided by two. This R will simplify. What is left? I DC squared is equal to I M squared over two. Then get the root. Root of all both sides. What is left? Let me get the root. I DC is equal to I M divided by root of two or cross product, cross product. When you cross product, I M is equal to root two times. I is now I can how many times greater? If I want the powers equal, this I M must be root two times of I DC, root two times. In this case, the powers are equal. Or I D C must be I M divided by root two. In this case, these two circuits will have equal power because these two circuits have now equal powers, equal heating effects. I can combine these two graphs is in a single graph. I will combine that. We want to represent a DC and AC circuit which have equal power in both in the same graph. There are two different graphs. I will now join them. I will draw them in one single graph. Let's join it. Okay, now these two circuits have equal power. This DC circuit represented by blue and this AC circuit represented by red have equal power. Their powers are equal, but their electric current must be related by this equation. I DC is equal to I M divided by root of two. Now, this I DC is defined as, now we are going to learn a new definition. Be careful about this. This I DC 
the value of this DC current, IDC, is defined as effective value of this AC current. There are two currents, huh? One of them is red one, AC. The other one is blue one, DC. This DC's name is given a name as effective value of this alternating current. Yeah, this direct current is effective value of this alternating current. What does effective value mean? Alternating current and this direct current have equal power. So I can say that this current is effective value of that alternating current. In fact, what we are doing is this. Alternating current is changing all the time. And cal making calculations are not so easy. We are converting this alternating current to a direct current by calculating this. An effective value effect means that. We are converting this AC to a DC because they have both equal power. We can do that. Why we calculate effective value? By calculating effective value, we convert this alternating current to a direct current. That's why definition will be like this. Now coming to definition. The amount of direct current, yes, the amount of direct current, this, that would dissipate, give out, equal amount of energy in a resistor. The energies are equal, the powers are equal to an alternating current of maximum value of I am. Yeah, and this alternating current and this direct current will dissipate equal amount of energy. And their powers are equal over one cycle. It's called effective value. Yeah, and this direct current value is called Effective value and represented by I sub E. Effective value. But sometimes this effective value, this DC, also called as a root mean square value. I DC, I effective, and I root mean square. And I DC the boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, I DC, direct current, but amount of direct current. So, huh. that DC will change to name as a effective value. Then we are not going to write DC. Instead of DC, we will write IE. The amount of direct current, IDC, that would dissipate equal amount of energy in a resistor to an alternating current, or one cycle is called effective current. Yeah, IDC changes to IE. Huh, not only IE, it's given another name as well, root mean square value. It's represented by RMS. Root R mean M square S. This IE and IS, IRMS are same thing as well. IDC, IE, IRMS, same thing. But IDC we will not use it. IDC I explain to make your mind uh, ready for the I effective because when I give direct this equation, students get really confused. Mm -hmm. That's what first I did explain what DC means to you. Now this is the definition of I effective. So I effective as you see always less than I maximum. Always. You see that? Maximum value is above, I is low. I effective is always less than I maximum. Why? Because you divide I am by root of, and root of 2 is 1.41, I think 141. So all this is going to be less than maximum value. So effective value is always less than maximum value. Effective value can be considered as the C equivalent of AC circuit. Yeah, you are converting an AC circuit to a DC circuit by calculating effective value. We are converting this a C circuit to a DC circuit by calculating effective value. Not only electric current is sin sinusoidal, potential difference is also a sinusoidal variation. 
So we can calculate effective value for potential difference as well. We can calculate. So same way. We are going to multiply maximum value by root of two for calculating effective value. Yeah, it, I e is equal to V I m over root two. V is equal to V m over root two. We are alternating EMF is converted to direct potential difference by calculating effective value. Alternative current is converted to direct current by calculating effective value. Alternating potential difference is converted to direct potential difference by calculating effective potential difference. Yeah, I is equal to V I M over root 2, V is equal to V M over root 2. For any graph which is changing as a sine function, you can calculate effective value. You can be current, potential difference, or any variable. Every sinusoidal variation has a root mean square value or effective value. And the effective value of the current, not V, i.e., or effective value of the potential difference, EMF, in an AC circuit can be measured by using digital multimeter. Multimeter is, means multi measuring device. Multi measuring device. This one. This device can measure direct potential difference, can measure alternative potential difference, can measure resistance, can measure small currents from milliampere, can measure other things. So this is multi-measuring device called multi-meter. Only you should be change this arrow to the place where you want to measure. For example, right now it measures direct potential difference. This straight line represents direct, direct current, direct potential difference. If you change this arrow in here, it will measure alternating potential difference. There's an alternating sign near V. If you change this arrow in here, it will measure resistance on the continuum. If you change it in here, it measures very small electric current, the lamp pad. Then this device, multimeter. By using single device, you can measure many things. In the past, there, was, there were no such a device for measuring all these things. You need five different devices. For direct voltmeter, alternating voltmeter, for resistor another thing, for current another thing, and an ammeter. But right now, by using just one device, we can measure that, multimeter. But don't forget, multimeter always measures effective value. Always effective value. Not maximum value, not instantaneous value. It measures effective value. Keep this in mind. Okay, a question. A generator with a maximum output EMF. Maximum output EMF. Maximum output potential difference. How much is it? How much? How much? Yeah, Vm is 205. Vm is 205 volt. It's connected to a 115 ohm resistor. So R, this is R. R is 115 ohm. Calculate RMS potential difference, but RMS. Effective value, RMS, same thing. So calculate effective potential difference, VE. Okay, what is the equation for calculating VE? Yeah. So let's calculate VE is equal to maximum value divided by root of 2. Always divide maximum value by root of 2 to calculate effective value. How much is the maximum value? 200. How much is the uh, divided by root of 2? Result is going to be 145. This is effective value of the potential difference, or RMS value. <coughs> Find the RMS current. Effective current. In Ohm's law. Use Ohm's law. So, Ohm's law tells you that current is equal to potential difference divided by Resistance. Uh, I will calculate effective value. Of course, to calculate effective value, potential difference must be effective. Effective potential difference divided by resistance. I will calculate effective value. So, 145 divided by resistance, how much? 115. 1.26? 1.26. 
1.26 ampere. And find the maximum current. I answered your question. Mm -hmm. Effective current is calculated. How can I calculate maximum current? Multiply by root of 2. Yes. Third one is maximum current is effective current multiplied by root of 2 and get. So 1.36 times root of 2. How much is answered? 1.78. Yeah. 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 1.78. Yeah. Um.